lot of amazing Indian cozy game titles releasing in 2024, but this video is not about them. It's about me! <laughs> I'm kidding, kind of. It's actually about the best Indian cozy games that I'll probably cover this year because they are just insane. In a good way. Some of them are barely even known, but I think that they have potential. I'm talking about super cute, nice gameplay, and extremely aesthetically pleasing but mostly pixel art games that you have got to hype up with me. So come on, let's stop yapping and get on with it. Lego! Number 1. Cool of the Lamb Scene of the Flesh Update First is what I have been constantly hyping on our Discord server since, I don't know, two months ago? First give me the lamb! <laughs> yes, it's the Cold of the Lamp update, Sins of the Flash, releasing on January 16th, so mark your calendars. And it's gonna be big! With a buttload of new stuff like new progression system, new rituals and doctrines, new leveling system for follower progression, shiny poop, don't ask, a better janitor station, guns for crusades, and a bunch of new buildings like tailor buildings where followers can get their own outfit. Or even a building that serves drinks so everyone can get drunk! Super fun! And no, this is not a drill, but they are adding sex as promised. And babies will be on eggs! Don't ask! But the babies will join our cult when they're all ready. Yes, I know that it's not the type of game that I usually cover, but I'ma go ahead anyways. I got so excited about this major update that I even dressed my potato meerkat for the potato cult. Let me know if you want to join, by the way. We're always recruiting. Number 2. Ever Home. Next, we'll be talking about this very underrated game called Ever Home. It's so underrated that you only have 72 followers on Twitter and it really makes me so sad. This game looks super cute with such charming pixel art, but it's not that cozy. Because if you know Bloomtown, then yeah, it's somewhat like that. Except that it's a life sim. There's some sort of demons and such, sort of kidnapping your sister, and being stuck on a perfect island. As a life sim, it has farming, gathering, foraging, fishing, combat, with a little mix of mystery. It's developed by Chunk and Loaf and it's planned to be released sometime this year. Number 3. Cozy Keep Early Access I honestly wouldn't have known about this game if Ursu from Travel Storm didn't reach out to me. I am super glad that they did because I genuinely enjoy the game. So thank you so much Ursa and for giving me a key too. Cozy Keep is a medieval shopkeeping game with survival, life sim, and crafting elements. We get to work our butts off so we can pay our father's debt. That's why we have to gather resources to craft some stuffs that could improve our tavern, pat the cat, do trades with merchants, Pat the cat, farm, survive, and don't forget to pay the debt. And of course, pat the cat. This game is planned to be released on early access in quarter 1. Number 4. Space Chef This is a 2D open-world action-adventure where we get to explore alien planets, harvest exotic ingredients, and cook cosmic cuisine. We even get to craft bots to automate our tasks, customize our base, fight off space pirates, and many more. Space Chef is an interesting take on management, cooking, and exploration games. It's developed by Blue Good Games and it's planned to be released sometime this year. Number 5. NECA Odyssey I've already talked about NECA Odyssey in my previous video, but that won't stop me from talking more about it. Yep, I am that excited for this game. This game is about cats, 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 and more cats. We get to take pictures of them chunky pixel cats, upload it on social media, earn likes from NPC netizens, and get random tips on cat locations. And we just keep going until we find them all. It's developed by Secret Character and it's planned to be released sometime in 2024. Number 6. Bloomtown And another one that I previously talked about in this video is Bloomtown. I had the privilege to play the close alpha playtest of this game and it was great. The pixel art is so beautiful, the storyline is interesting, and the combat is JRPG style. What is happening here? In Bloomtown, we play as a little child named Emily where we get to solve the mystery of why demons are kidnapping children. And of course attempt to save the children too. We get to slay demons along the way, kidnap them for revenge, and fuse them together to make them stronger. Of course, we also get them to fight for us too in a turn-based combat style. This game is planned to be released in quarter 2, 2024. Number 7. Pixel Shire Next, we have one of my most anticipated farm scenes that I have been closely, closely watching since last year. Pixel Shire is a community life sim RPG that mixes life sim elements with town building, combat, and exploration. 
we got a lot of customization because not only do we get to build and decorate our town, but we also get to build and decorate our own house and every citizen's house too. We can also invite the citizens on our daily adventures to aid us in foraging, exploration, and resource gathering. It's developed by Capabits and it's supposed to be released last year, but it was pushed to this year so that they can further polish the game. And I just love that, you know? The devs are making sure that the game is really ready to deliver us the best gaming experience. So yes, we take your time. Number 8. Fields of Mistria. Now this game has got the aesthetics that I am super drawn in. Just look at that! The NPCs look like those shoujo characters that I used to watch and read when I was a child. And everything about it is just so adorable. They are so correct for adding that cute tag on Steam. This game has everything that a farm life sim has, like combat, romance, magic that we can use on our farm, animals and breeding, and many more. It's developed by NPC Studio and it's planned to be released sometime this year. And number 9, Dream Tactics. Here's another super underrated game that barely has any following on social media. It's a tactical turn-based card battler RPG where you can pick your own party, prepare a deck of cards, and slay a lot of annoying pillows in the dream world. There are about 100 cards to choose from and strategize with, and you can customize each deck however you want to. You can trade cards between characters, equip as much items as you can to boost their stats, recruit more characters to join your party, and many more. I swear, this game needs more attention because I truly enjoy the demo and you should definitely try it out too if you like card battlers or turn-based RPGs. Did you know that we now have Mercat merch powered by Spreadshop? You can choose from many items like stickers, beanies, hats, hoodies, shirts, sweaters, and many many more. You can even edit the designs if you want it bigger, smaller, or even add your own little caption. So check them out at my Spreadshop below. Now here are 7 more games that I don't really know when they will be releasing, but they also deserve more love and hype. Number 10, Wish Upon a Llama. Just like Fields of Mistria, this game's color palette is so on point. I love those adorable pastels. In this game, we get to raise and breed ducks, llamas, capybaras, sheep, rabbits, and even let them follow us wherever we go. Just look at that, it's so adorable! As it is a ranch life sim, this means that we also get to romance cute NPCs and settle down in Llama Town. It's developed by Million Hair Studios and there is no exact release date yet. But this game looks really good, so wishlist it now. Number 11, Little Known Galaxy. A fresher take on Farm Life Sims is Little Known Galaxy, where we play as a space captain in training for the Space Alliance, and we should do our best to survive in space while on a mission to solve the mysteries of an ancient relic from another planet. We get to build relationships with our crew, farm for survival, cook, explore planets, race adorable aliens, and many more. It's developed by Carbon and Kate, and the devs are currently working on a demo for us soon. Thank you, devs! Number 12, Call of Booba. As a big fan of management, RPG, indie, and pixel games, the very underrated game called Call of Booba is also on my radar. It's a cute simulation roguelite RPG where we have to save our struggling milk tea shop, battle enemies using our milk tea ingredients, fish, complete town quest, and build relationship. This game is developed by Tomatoes. Number 13, Two Pixelia. Next is my latest obsession, Two Pixelia. It's the perfect mix of The Sims and GTA. In Two Pixelia, you can be everything you ever want to be. You can be a rock star, a farmer, a basketball legend, an underground boxing fighter, a hacker, a burglar, or even the president. Or maybe you can be everything at once. In Pixelia, everything also has a minigame. You will never run out of things to do in this game. If you want to know more about it, then check out this video where I covered what the exclusive alpha version currently has. Now the last two are both from everyone's favorite indie farm sim developer, Concerned8. I won't yap too much about this because it might take us 5 years to finish chatting and hyping about it. And I'm sure that you're already updated about these games too, so... Number 14, Hunted Chocolatier. While we don't know much about this game yet, except that it'll be an awesome game about running a hunted chocolate shop, a bunch of foraging, RPG, romance, and ghosts, it will probably be a while till this game releases, but that's okay. It's gonna be great, so let the legend cook. This game was first announced by CA on October 8, 2021, and he has been updating about this game at the official blog. So if you wanna really read about every bit of update, then I've left the blog's link in the description for your stocking needs. You're welcome, my friend! 
number 15, Stardew Valley's 1.6 update. Lastly, of course, I'm most excited for the big Stardew Valley 1.6 update. Who isn't excited for this? Come on! There's gonna be a lot of new stuffs, and what we know for now is that we're getting new festivals, additional late game content, new items and recipes, Joja alternatives, a hecking lot of new dialogues, winter outfits, new farm types, new secrets, and probably a hecking lot more. We never know because Concerned Ape loves to surprise people, and I am ready to be surprised. But that's about it for now. So did you get to hype up with me? Blink once if you did, and blink twice if you did it. Did you blink? No? Okay, fine. Just let me know in the comments. And super thanks to the kindest people on the interwebs, my lovely channel members, for your support as always. And for anyone who wants to join the cult of the potato, then like and subscribe for more Indian cozy game stuff is coming your way. Bye-bye!